And this is the modern day Riviera Beach Marina. At one point, Henry Franklin owned the railroad, and what he wanted to do was use it for import and export. But his obstacle was freshwater, spring fed Lake, Lake Worth Lagoon, which, if you're local, you know that goes for miles and miles. It starts at like PJ Boulevard and goes all the way south past Boynton. So, if you use your imagination and you close up the gap between this island and this island, this is modern day Singer Island, close this up, make this disappear, that's what Henry Flagler was looking at. So what did Henry Flagler do? He did what he did best and he made it work for himself. So he dredged out this and he took all of the dredge. For those of you that don't know what dredge means, he basically dug it out. Created Peanut Island. So Peanut Island was 10 acres on completion and said to be in the shape of a peanut. I also read a different version of how Peanut Island got its name, and I'll tell you that one too. 1928, there was a peanut oil manufacturing company leasing this property from the Port of Palm Beach, and they got wiped out in the 1928 hurricane, and it's said that the name stayed. I don't know which is the true story for how Peanut Island got its name, but that's both of them. Now, the island is 80 acres now. They're no longer taking the dredge out. This is a wonderful aerial. You can see what you can't see from walking around the island because it's all fenced off, but it is just a big sand pile. They're still dredging because there's some huge vessels that go in and out. See, this is the game uh, room. It's cute. And they, they're taking the dredge over here now. Yeah. It's really it's pleasant, isn't it? Mm -hmm. This is very At one point, the island was heavily forested, too. They, the, the Australian pine, the invasive species, just loves it here. And you can see in this photo here on the wall, it was totally forested. And in this one, too, totally forested. So because they're not native species, the Port of Palm Beach took them all out. And uh, they still pop up all over the place. And there's two that are, still, that are huge. One we just walked right past to get up here, and there's one in the back of the house. So because there's so many of us and it's hard to go from room to room, speaking in every room, um, the bottom floor, you're more than welcome to wander. The way it's set up yeah. is that there are several rooms that showcase the objectives the of the Coast Guard. There's a radio room which showcases uh, that the, the Coast Guard is always available by radio. Any voters here? No voters? Well, at one point, the be all and end all for any kind of rescue. It's wonderfully cool, breezy. If you had, so beautiful. If you ran aground, if 